everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this year's Nordstrom anniversary sale has already started. It opened to the highest tier of card holders on Monday, and then it's going to open to different groups of people on different dates. And if you're not a Nordstrom card holder, you can start shopping the sale on July 28th. So me personally, I won't be able to start shopping the sale until Friday, July 16th. But some of you guys have asked me what I'm going to be picking up from the sale and also what are my recommendations. So I figured before things start selling out, I would do this video and let you guys know what my wishlist items are and also what are some items that I've purchased from previous year sales that I love and I would recommend you guys to check out. So yeah, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Maybe it provides you with some inspiration if browsing through their website is very overwhelming which i totally understand so yeah let's get into this video so before we dive into what i plan on purchasing i just wanted to quickly share something that i feel like no one really mentions about the sale and the most important thing i've learned about the nordstrom anniversary sale is that a bunch of the stuff will end up on a steeper discount and that usually happens right around labor day so i've kind of gotten a lot smarter with shopping the sale after kind of making mistakes of buying a bunch of stuff that i didn't really need in previous years so i have kind of learned that i should be picking up the core items in my wardrobe that i know i'll get a lot of use out of so whether or not it ends up at a steeper discount i'm not going to feel bad about it and i'm not going to feel like I didn't get my money's worth basically. So with that being said, I will be referring to my iPad. So if you see me looking down, it's because I have everything saved in different lists on Nordstrom's website. So I will have everything that I'm sharing up on the screen right here and I'll have it all linked in the description box. So yeah, let's start with clothing. So the first thing that I wanted to kind of stock up on this year are some new camis. So the first one that I'm interested in buying is this one from Halogen. It's their Razorback cami. So it has a little bit of lace detail right around the chest area here. And I'm thinking of picking this up in the pink Adobe color. So it's kind of like a blush pink color. And this is a very standard cami that I always find myself reaching for. So at $22.90, that's a pretty good price. And then after that, I also looked at these other camis from this brand called One State. And this one is a little bit more expensive at $38.90. And this one doesn't have the lace details, but it does have some pleating around the neckline here. So I thought that that was kind of unique and this is available in two colors. There's a black and then there's also a white one. I think this is actually more of an off-white. So I'm going to be picking both of these up and that's it for tops really. As I was saying, I really only pick up kind of like building block pieces in my wardrobe during the sale. So as for cardigans and sweaters, I actually only have one cardigan on my wish list. It's this one from Madewell. It's a color block cardigan. And Madewell always has some form of this type of color block cardigan in every year's Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I have picked up a few of them from prior years. I don't think I bought any last year because I wasn't a big fan of the color schemes. There's four colors in this color block cardigan and I think that it will go with so many fall outfits. One of the things I like about these color block cardigans is that they go with so many different outfits because there are different colors <laughs> to this cardigan. And this one is $58.90 so still a very good price. And they do also have some of these same cardigans that aren't in a color block pattern. If you're interested in that, I'll also have that linked in the description box. And then as for dresses, there are two kind of like sweater dresses that I'm thinking of purchasing. One of them is from Club Monaco. It's the Katie sleeveless sweater dress. And this one has a little bit of an A-line shape to it. It does have like a higher neck and it's a little bit of a mini length, but not too short. 
and I think the color is just such a staple fall color so yeah this is the first one I'm thinking of picking up and the next one is a sleeveless turtleneck midi dress from halogen and actually I think that halogen as a brand in general does a lot of great items for the Nordstrom anniversary sale so this one is $38.90 and I'm thinking of getting this in the black color and then next up is going to be outerwear so outerwear I have two jackets or coats on my list the first one is a double-breasted wool blend coat from Sam Edelman and I've been trying to really build up my outerwear kind of like collection so I was really drawn to this lavender color and this one is $149.90 and it is lined which a lot of coats on the Nordstrom anniversary sale actually aren't lined so that's something that I think you should pay attention to because if it's not lined it's really not going to last you through most of the fall winter months at least where I'm located that's not really going to work and this color is just I think it's really pretty it's not like a very spring lavender color it is a little bit more muted so this is the first one I'm picking up for outerwear and the second one is once again from Madewell it's the high pile fleece Portland jacket this jacket would look really cute to wear casually I actually really like the outfit that they styled the model with and then jeans so I don't care what anyone says about skinny jeans being out and wearing you know like straight cut jeans or mom jeans or whatever that being the kind of like trendy thing now I do enjoy those jeans also but when it comes to the colder weather and when I'm wearing it with booties or boots I really need skinny jeans so two of my favorite brands to get skinny jeans from are Joe's jeans and also AG jeans I find that if you're looking for higher waisted jeans I think Joe's jeans is probably the better way to go so I've been keeping a close eye on what it states on Nordstrom as the rise of the jeans so the first pair I want is from AG jeans and it's the Farrah high waist ankle skinny jeans and the color is 16 years element and this is honestly quite pricey it's $149.90 but I really love this brand for jeans so I'm going to be picking this up and then also this pair from Joe's jeans the Charlie ankle skinny jeans and this one I'm getting in the color Beko and I am not quite petite but I'm kind of like borderline between regular sizing and petite sizing so I always go for ankle length jeans just so I know that they won't be really really long on me and then I have kind of two or three depending on what you want to call it I have two to three pairs of shoes on my wish list the first one is the Welland Booty from Vince Camuto and the reason I say it's either two or three is because it's two different styles but for one of the styles I can't decide on the color just yet so I'm between the tortilla suede as well as this Tuscan taupe I think both of them look really nice so I'm only going to pick up one of the two or maybe I'll get both and decide which one I like better I don't know yet but this is the first style I want and it's $99.90 and then after that there is kind of like a more dressier pair of booties that I want from Mark Fisher and it's the Jojo pointed toe booty so this one I want in the chic cream leather and they actually had something similar to this in last year's sale but my order for this pair of shoes got canceled so I'm trying my luck again this year and hopefully it works out for me because I think this color is something that is missing from my wardrobe and the rest of the items are kind of not really necessarily for fall or anything 
I have the Nordstrom um, PJs on my list also. And this is an item that I feel like, well, for one, it has amazing reviews. There's over 1200 reviews of these PJs on Nordstrom's website and it has over four and a half stars. So I figured this year will be the year that I finally get this and I'm thinking of getting it in three colors. So I'm going in hard with this. And then I have the Notori Minimal Contour Underwire Demi Bra in both colors on my wish list. This is just something that's like kind of boring. I just need to stock up on bras. And as for workout clothes, my favorite brands to get workout clothes from are either Beyond Yoga or Allo Yoga. And this year, I'm just going to be picking up two tops from Beyond Yoga. It's the Space Thigh Square Neck Crop Tank. And anything that's part of this like space dye type of fabric from Beyond Yoga, I find is really soft and really comfortable. I have quite a few of their leggings already. So I'm going to be picking up just the tops, but they do have the matching leggings. So I'm going to pick up the Cherry Blossom Heather as well as the Sandstone Cream from this space dye kind of workout clothes that Beyond Yoga offers. One last item that is very unlike the rest, I always pick up one picture frame from the sale every single year. It's not necessarily like a tradition of mine to do that, it's just because I find that I need an extra picture frame every single year. And the White Company actually has this silver plated picture frame on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I think. I think it's there every single year. So I've gotten a bigger size one last year. And this year I want to pick up the one that's in the five by seven size. And I really like this picture frame. It's a little bit expensive. So the five by seven is $42.90. But the reason that I need a new picture frame is because one of my older ones that I want to swap out, it just got kind of like dingy over the years. But the ones that I've purchased from the White Company have lasted really well and they actually look really high quality. So that's something that I would also recommend to you guys if you're looking for picture frames. I think this actually looks really, really nice and I honestly think that it's worth the price. So that's all that is on my wish list for this year's Nordstrom anniversary sale. And yeah, hopefully everything is still available by the time I'm able to shop it. So aside from the Madewell cardigan and also the picture frame that I've already mentioned, some other items that I recommend you guys checking out are, the first one is this Rails button-up shirt. There are these plaid button-up shirts and it's available in five different colors. And I've purchased a few in previous years and they're actually really, really soft. So I highly recommend them. This year they have one that is in this, it's called Ivory Check and it looks basically like a white shirt, but it actually has this really faint sort of plaid detail to it. And this is $99.90, so kind of expensive for a button up shirt, but Honestly, this is the best kind that I've ever bought. And I'm actually a huge fan of this Rails brand for button-up shirts in general. Their chambray ones are actually really nice too. This one is actually from Rails, even though it's not part of the anniversary sale. But I'll link it for you guys if you're interested in checking this out too. The only thing to keep in mind is that even though it says that it fits true to size, while that is true, it does shrink a lot in the wash, especially if you put it through the dryer. So if that's the case, I would suggest you guys to size up for this because yeah, it, it took some trial and error for me in the past. And then also if you're looking for very simple t-shirts or turtlenecks to wear like layered, the ones from Splendid, I think, are really great. So there's the V-neck t-shirt, which is $29.90, and then there's also their turtleneck 
which is $44.90 and I find these to be great for layering in the colder months and the material is 50% cotton and 50% modo and those make the shirts really soft so that I would highly recommend and for pants, I know everyone talks about the Spanx faux leather leggings as a must buy for these sales. And I honestly can't comment on that myself because that's not something that I wear. So I never bother picking it up. But I think something that is often overlooked and it's also from the Spanx brand is their perfect back seam skinny pants so i bought a pair of this last year and i really love them i just wish they made them in more colors because if they did i would buy a few more pairs but if you're looking for a really nice pair of black pants that doesn't look casual but is still very comfortable to wear because it is kind of stretchy i would say to check this out this is 84.90 so it's not the cheapest, but I think you get what you paid for. So I mentioned that I'm only going to be picking up two pairs of skinny jeans for the sale. But if you're not actually interested in buying skinny jeans, you're sick of that and you want something that is more relaxed fitting, I have purchased these jeans from AG Jeans in a previous year sale. It's the ex-boyfriend slim jeans. And that pair of jeans I wear so often in the summer. I think there's two colors available for the sale. One of them is very, very similar to the color that I already have. So that's why I'm not getting it. And the other one is just, it's not really a color that I really wear in jeans, but I will link it below if you want to take a look at that too. And I actually really like the style of jeans. I think it looks really flattering and because it is a looser fit, it's also super comfortable. So that's all for the clothing that I've purchased in previous years that are also available this year. And since I love them in previous years, I can say with a good amount of certainty that they're good items to check out this year. Aside from that, just like miscellaneous items that I have marked as good recommendations are, for one, there's the Barefoot Dreams throw blanket. And this year, they're available in kind of like solid colors. There's like a multitude of different colors. And then there's a leopard print one, which tends to be really, really popular with people. And then there's also this kind of like floral pattern one. Keep in mind though that the floral one is a little bit smaller than the other two. It's the same price as the solid color one, but it is smaller. So in terms of price per square foot, it's not as worth it. And then I also have a few beauty items on this list. Well, one of them is a mirror. It's the Simple Human mirror. And I'm a big fan of Simple Human in general. I have the same mirror. I have their trash can. I have their soap dispenser. I'm a huge fan of their items. And this is really such a must-have item on my vanity table because this is a magnifying mirror and yeah it makes doing my makeup so much more seamless and the other item i recommend from the beauty category is from olaplex it's the bond maintenance hair care set and i really love these olaplex products because i think they do great things for my hair and every time there is kind of like a deal on these olaplex products i would get them so I purchased a few of the holiday sets last year and whenever it's on sale at Sephora, I also buy that too. So I'm not going to be picking this up for this sale because I kind of have so much as backup, but this is definitely a great thing to purchase, whether it is, you know, for yourself or even if you're thinking ahead as Christmas gifts, I think this would be a great gift also. And then the last thing I have on this list is, it's a pricey one, but it's the first time that I've seen a Dyson vacuum as part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I figured I would mention it because I have a Dyson vacuum at home and I absolutely love it. And this one is actually like a newer model to the one that I have. This one actually looks like way fancier, but yeah, I think this is such a good deal. It's 
$579.99. So yeah, it's a little up there in price, but it beats the price of $700, which is the original price. And honestly, I, I have had like one of those like robot vacuum cleaners in the past. And that's also something that like a lot of people swear by, but honestly, I love my Dyson so much more than that. So that is it for this video with all my wishlist items and the things that I recommend from Nordstrom's anniversary sale. And I really hope you guys like this video and I do plan on sharing kind of like a haul video with everything that I purchase once I'm able to actually buy them and hopefully everything or at least most of the things that I have on my wish list I will be able to buy. So I will share all of that in a future video and also if I kind of end up buying anything last minute too, I'll share it all in that video. And let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking of purchasing from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.